This is an incredibly healthy girl who had plans and goals. Ewing sarcoma is one of those where the vast majority of cases are teenagers or children. She had just broken two high school swim records. So being diagnosed with cancer was a shock to all of us. It was like we were in a different world. This couldn't be real. It's one of the less common cancers, and a lot of people aren't very familiar with it. I remember his exact words were, we think we know what she has, and we can treat her. That was all he had to say. About two-thirds of the children with Ewing sarcoma will re respond to the state-of-the-art therapy. I told her, Lauren, look at your leg. You can bend your leg again. The chemo is attacking the cancer. You can do this. You're strong. Lauren was amazing from the very beginning. We do things that make you happy. She was very interested, even while she was on treatment, in reaching out to other teenagers and other young adults who had Ewing sarcoma, and she became very active in trying to advocate for research in children's cancer. So many people who have a connection to pediatric cancer, they've heard of Lauren or they read her blog. Other people can read and feel empowered and feel the way she did. I saw it in her eyes. She was determined to do this and beat it, and she did. She had her whole body scanned. The results came back saying there was no cancer. She popped right out of therapy and ran off to junior college. She was back in her element. The fire was relit, and she was ready to just go. Lane 8, Lauren McCullough. And then came the conference championship meet. Go, Lauren! And her time on the backstroke that qualified her for the state championships. Lauren got second at 28-27. Uh, Lauren was at the state meet in Los Angeles, and she wasn't feeling good. She said, I don't think I can swim. And they did some x-rays, and they saw that there was fluid on her lung. Unfortunately, about one-third of the children who get it, the disease will come back. Dr. Jolly just held her hands and explained that there was a large tumor in her chest and that the cancer had come back. Lauren had asked the doctor how much time she had, and she was told six months. So that's when Lauren decided she wanted to get married. Deanne comes up and she said, Lauren wants to have a wedding. Really? With who? She's like, ask Igor to marry me. That was it. And that was the answer was yes. <laughs> We needed to plan a wedding in two weeks, pretty much. She had said, uh, this was in my bucket list. And I said, well, what bucket list? And she said, well, it's in my blog. And I said, you have a blog? The blog was called The Not Dying Girl. The Not Dying Girl? The Not Dying Girl. She was not dying. She was living. 